guys, it's Ro. I'm hanging out with my dog, Cookie. And this video is a dream come true. I have always wanted to work with Barbie, and today it is happening. Whoa! A big thank you to Barbie for sponsoring and helping me create this video. They sent me both of these sets to unbox, so that's what we're doing. I'm gonna be making an unboxing video today. I really love Barbie's motto, you can be anything. It is such a wonderful message. It's something that my parents taught me growing up. They encouraged me to try new things and let me know all the time that I could be anything that I wanted. I'm really excited that Barbie is spreading that same positive message. She has over 200 careers now, which include astronaut, pretty cool, pilot, doctor, they have a Barbie chef, which I love as a foodie, and these are the two new careers. We have specialty food careers, which is something I really, really love because I'm all about the food. So we have a pizza chef over here, and then over here we have a baker, a little pastry chef, something very near and dear to my heart. This is so adorable. I wanna unbox these right now, and I wanna start with the little baker. What do you think, Cootie? You wanna start with this one? What's in here? Oh, there's even a little baking mitt. Yes, Barbie, yes. Pretty cute, huh, Cookie? This is actually an outfit that I would wear. She's got a little t-shirt that says sweet. It has a little cupcake and a matching cupcake apron. And I think I have these shoes. Ooh, little cute oven. Cookie, it matches your bow. Now we need the supplies, okay. Oh, there's a little cake inside. Cookie, I almost missed this. How could we miss this? It looks like a little banana bread or a little individual pound size cake. We've got some cute little cake mix over here. A decorating piping bag. Every baker needs to use a piping bag. The cutest little spatula. It reminds me of mine and a mixing spoon. Cookie, what are you doing? Are you trying to get a better view of the cake? All right, let's get this oven set up so we can get started. We'll put a little cake mix, a mixing bowl. I'm gonna put the little spoon in here. Put the mix in, mix it around. Boop, perfect. Put the spatula in the bowl too. She's gotta put her oven mitt on because you don't wanna burn your hands when you take something out of the oven. I even have a matching oven mitt. Twins. Good girl, today. Let's make something. We open this little oven. Let's put our little cake in here. Close the oven. And let's put the timer on. Ding, it's done. And look, our cake rose. Look at that, Cookie. All right, let's do the same thing to the cupcakes. Put them in here. Close the oven. Set your timer. And ding! So I was reading the instructions. You can do something really fun. Once your cupcakes have baked, they've risen, we're gonna decorate them. Over here, I have a little bit of water. I'm gonna pour it in my bowl. Ooh. Take your piping bag, and at the end, there's kind of this little like foamy sponge thing, and dip it in there. This is so cool. And just like you would a regular cupcake, take your piping bag and decorate the top of the cupcake. This is my favorite part. You get the top of the cupcake wet with a little bit of water, and a decoration appears. I could decorate all the cupcakes. Oh my gosh, it's a little heart. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. There's like icing swirls on all of them. This one has little rainbow sprinkles. This one has a heart sprinkle. <gasps> non perials We also have vanilla frosting, chocolate frosting, strawberry frosting. Mmm. This baker, little pastry chef, is everything. This was so much fun, girl. Now, let's go unbox. Pizza Chef. Oh, wow. This is like a whole pizza kitchen. We even got a pizza, oh my gosh, there's a pizza oven. I'm a little jelly, so I'm gonna play with Barbies. I want, I want it, let's open it up. I need it in my life. Okay, we open this. Cookie loves unboxing things with me. I think every time I'm unboxing something, she's just always hoping that it's treats. We've got Pizza Chef Barbie. She's got her hair back. You don't want your hair getting in the pizza. I bake with my hair down, but like if you're at a restaurant, you should probably put it back. And then she's got her cute little outfit. Adorbs. Ooh! Yes! Pink pizza peel. Oh, there we go. And here we have some juice boxes, a water bottle, and a little register for checkout. Oh no! 
Barbie! She was so excited. In front, there's a little fridge for these beverages, so I'm gonna place them in there. This is the smallest and cutest, I can't even talk. This is the smallest and cutest little pizza box I've ever seen. I'm gonna use this little thing soon, so I'm gonna put this on the shelf underneath. We got little plates. I'm gonna place these here. They're right by checkout, right when your pizza's ready to go. <gasps> it's a little pizza cutter. I'm gonna hang it here. Oh, and then we need to hang our pizza peel. Look, we have a little pizza server to pick up a slice. I'm gonna put this right here, ready to go. This set comes with dough to actually make the pizzas. There's a tan dough for the crust, a red dough for the marinara sauce, and white dough for some mozzarella cheese. Okay, but let's start with the dough. Got a roll little ball. Pew, 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 pew. Place it onto the pizza pan. Boop, I'll put it right in the middle. Then open the red dough and roll a smaller ball. Press it on top. Come over here to our little pizza station and the first station is the press. Boop. And lift it up. Here we go. Oh, looking good. Then we're gonna move it over here, doot, 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 onto the cheese station. So you just take off the top, get a little ball of the white dough, place it on the top, Boop. and we're gonna grate some cheese. Bring our pizza over here. Oh, we gotta get this little cheese on top. Come here, no, there we go, more cheese, more cheese. After your pizza bakes, take the pizza peel and remove from the oven. This is how they do it. Go right underneath the pizza. Then we're gonna put on this little pizza pan. You can either box it up to go or cut it into slices. Wheat, 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 wheat. Ah, look at that. Get a little slice, put on these little plates. Oop, yum, 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 yum. I made another little pizza. I'm gonna put it in the to-go box. It's adorable. And da da! That does it for this unboxing. I really like the two new sets. And again, a big thank you to Barbie for sending me these and making specialty food careers. Also, I have to be honest, after playing with this, I feel inspired to make some of my own pizza. So let's head over to my kitchen and make some mini pizzas. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. I'm gonna show you how to make a super easy mode mini pizza recipe. The things you'll need will be a rolling pin, some pizza dough. You can find some already made at the grocery store in the refrigerated section. Some pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, cornmeal for the bottom of our pizza dough, a two inch round circle cookie cutter, and a cheese grater. We're gonna be using the smaller grate side, not the larger side, because we're making very small little pizzas. First step to making our mini pizzas is rolling out our pizza dough. Sprinkle a little flour in front of you so that the dough won't stick to the surface. Flop your dough. Deet, 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 deet. Also sprinkle a little flour on top, a little over the rolling pin, then roll it out. I'd say about an eighth an inch. All right, dough is looking good. Now before we cut out our mini pizzas, I'm gonna prep the pan. Over here I have a little baking sheet and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cornmeal at the bottom. This part is totally optional. Adding a little bit of cornmeal to the bottom of your pizzas really ups your pizza game. Using the circle cookie cutter, cut out a bunch of mini pizzas into the dough. Transfer over to the baking sheet. Boop, keep doing this till you fill up the tray. Once the pizzas are on the sheet, I like to use a fork to dock them. And if you're not familiar with docking, it's just poking a bunch of little holes into the dough so that while it bakes, the heat has places to escape so you won't get bubbles in your dough. Our pizza dough is docked and we're gonna pop it in the oven to bake at 400 degrees for five minutes. While our dough is in the oven baking, let's grate some cheese. I've got a little bit of mozzarella cheese, one of my favorite cheeses. A good tip for making mini pizzas is you don't want long grates of cheese because they won't fit on the pizza. So when you're grating, just make short motions. Just took the pizza crust out of the oven. Be careful because the pan is still hot. While it's hot, we're just gonna scoop on a little bit of pizza sauce and sprinkle with cheese. Today I'm making cheese mini pizzas, but if you'd like to add any other toppings, now's the time to do it. You can add whatever you'd like. Once you have all of your toppings on your pizzas, they are ready to bake for a second time. Again, oven is at 400 degrees, but this time bake between seven to eight eight minutes. Do-do, and there you have it, mini cheese pizzas that we made. I'm gonna have one for me because I'm really hungry. After I was playing with those toys, I was like, mmm, pizza sounds really good. Mmm. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so good. 
Mm, 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 mm. I ate all the cheese. All right, that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We did two unboxings and made mini cheese pizzas. Thanks again to Barbie for helping me create this video. If you wanna check out any other Barbie videos, I'll put a link down below to their YouTube channel. All right, thanks again, bye-bye.